We are making series of world most expensive things and today video is about the most expensive painting in the world. Before we start video don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press bell icon to get latest updates from our channel. Have you ever thought about how much is the most expensive painting in the world? There are many paintings with price tag over 1 million US dollars, but there are paintings which are really expensive with a price starting from 100 million US dollars for one painting. It is very difficult to really appreciate these masterpieces of world painting, almost all authors of the most expensive paintings ever sold have passed away and won't be able to create something like this ever. And because of this the price of these paintings simply raise with time. Number 01, Mules, this work of art by one of the most well-known artists ever produced by France was bought and owned by a philanthropic couple who journeyed to Paris in 1892. Shocked silence was followed by a roar of applause that could be heard outside the sale room in Sotheby's as it went for an incredible 110.7 million US dollars in 2019. The buyer of the stunning sunset landscape remains unknown. Number 02, Young Girl with a Flower Basket, the Rockefellers are some of the most famous families in the United States, a part of the super-rich, the unofficial American royalty of yesteryear. They gobbled up this Picasso masterpiece in 1968 eventually deciding to sell a huge swathe of their amassed collection of art in 2018. No one could have expected the outcome that followed, being sold at an incredible 115 million US dollars. As enormous as this sum is, it's not even the artist's most expensive painting, coming in at number 2. Number 03, The Scream, Edward Munch made four different versions of his most famous painting, three now permanently reside in museums in Norway. The only piece left in private hands turned heads worldwide in 2012. It took only 12 nail-biting minutes to settle on the princely sum of 119.9 million US dollars and gasps abounded as the sale broke records worldwide. Like other high-value sales, the buyer was, and remains, a mystery, number 04, the woman in gold, fans of cosmetics will recognize the name Robert Lauder immediately as the incredibly wealthy magnate whose world-famous brand uses his name. Not as many will know that he paid a purported 135 million US dollars for what is considered to be Clint's crowning masterpiece. Although Lauder always refused to state the final selling price. Sources close to him alerted the press in the aftermath of the sale in 2006. The painting has a history of controversy, having previously been the subject of a lengthy legal battle between the Austrian government and the niece of the woman depicted in the piece. She argued that it, along with four other Klimt works, were stolen from her family by the Nazis in World War II. The courts agreed. Number 05, Landscape Screens, frenetic phone call bids were being cast left right and center, which led to Chibashi's 12 landscape screens breaking the record for not only most expensive painting ever sold for a brief time, 2017, but the highest price ever paid for a Chinese work of art at auction, 140.8 million US dollars. Commentators at the time saw it as a representation of Asia's increasing influence. The buyer decided to remain anonymous and the painting is not on public display. Number 06, three studies of Lucian Freud, Irish-born British painter Francis Bacon's triptych of Lucian Freud was made famous not only due to his reputation, but the fame and international renown of his subject and fellow artist Lucian Freud. Critics view the piece as being symbolic of the relationship between the two contemporaries. In only 10 minutes of heated bidding, it knocked the scream off the top spot at a staggering final price of 142.4 million US dollars. Number 07, Portrait of Dr. Gachet, Van Gogh's most revered work, depicting the doctor who cared for him in his final years, was sold in 1990 to a Japanese businessman for 82.5 million US dollars. This amount of money for a painting was utterly unprecedented at the time, leaving the world in shock at this incredible display of disposable income. What was even more unsettling was the buyer's declaration to have the piece cremated with him upon his death. It was never confirmed if he followed through with his promise and investigation since, trying to discover the location of the painting, have proved fruitless. Number 08, New Kush, it's hard to believe in modern times what a Fuhrer surrounded Modigliani series of works depicting the naked female body, having been required to retire them due to public outrage on at least two different occasions. 
What could be considered even more surprising in the modern day is that this particular nude broke not only social but financial barriers, fetching 170.4 million US dollars at auction in 2015. The buyers were a Chinese couple who chose to display it in their private museum in Shanghai. Number 09, Les Femmes Dolger version O, the year 2015 was a considerable one for the auction world, with our number 2 and 3 spots being sold in the same year. The source of inspiration for this painting was European artist Delacroix, who Picasso admired greatly. Version O, the last in the series, was presented for auction in 2015, where it received the highest pre-auction valuation ever at 140 million US dollars. Unbelievably, the pre-valuation sum was beaten, and the final result was 179.4 million US dollars, sold to a Qatari former prime minister. Number 10, Salvatore Mundi, last but not least, the most expensive and controversial painting ever sold at auction belongs to Leonardo da Vinci. Of the 20 works of art still existing that are considered to have been done by the master of masters, Salvatore Mundi is the only to remain in a private collection. The unbelievable final price set Mount Sagape with much speculation on who the potential buyer could have been. It is said to be the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, but it has never been confirmed. Equally mysteriously, it has not been publicly displayed since its purchase. That's all for this video, hope you enjoy the video. Share this video with your family and friend circle so that they can also get amused from it. So bye for now, see you in the next video.